Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Ultimate Alchemy Exam. And checking out some things here: seventy-one buckets of industrial great evils. Pretty damn awesome, actually. It's seventy-one wither skeleton skulls. So we're getting there. And you know, there's sixteen buckets worth up here in this tank. So yeah, you know, what four here, and then this thing will hold ten. So fourteen more buckets, and I'll actually start backfilling on drops of evil. Which is actually pretty damn awesome. But this time here, we are going to start working on some flex network stuff. And let's see, I need a controller first, so the this guy flux controller. I need a flux core, flux, and five flux blocks. So make one of you. I need you for eye vendor still, huh? I never actually taught the thing eye vendor. All right, now you know. So, I am actually rapidly running out of room for patterns. Uh, yeah, it's my last one. These three are actually taken. It's just they don't render for whatever reason. All right, so let's try this again. Flux controller need five flux blocks. I'm gonna need one of you. And flux controller, go. All right. I did teach this thing how to make flux as well, so. Uh, that'll work, I guess. All right. Please select a network. Create a new one. Okay. So I'll create a new network. Come on. Oh, if you hold down backspace, it doesn't work. Really? All right, let's just go power for now, I guess. Um, yeah, that'll work for color. Go ahead and create that thing. Please select network, power, selected. Network connections, just the controller for now. All right, cool. I have a flex network, yay. Now if I look at at flux, one thing I'm going to need a lot of plugs for adding energy to the network. Uh, let's make 20 of them for now. I have to craft 40 eyes of ender for this crap. And let's say 20 of uh, what is this? Or or not cores? Uh, we got flux points for removing energy from the network. All right, flux plugs, and it's crafting the points. Slowly, mind you, but it is working. Let's see, this is energy storage. Need a lot of obsidian for these, but doable. I have obsidian. Obsidian's pretty easy, actually. All right, so 17, 18, 19, and 20. So let's see. I think stores 256,000 RF, 12.8 million, 128 million. Let's start with one of these. I know I touch Adamac Herculeans. Are you gonna, you're gonna be a pain, aren't you? Yes, you are. All right, so, actually, 36, I'm missing blaze powder and I need a lot of snowballs, huh? What do I need cryothium for? Now, the blaze powder I understand, but why do I need cryothium? Out of what out of all this needs freaking cryothium. Alright, um ores. Oh, because of my recipe for making cryothium. Gotcha. Alright, um, Yeah, there's a bit of a problem with this setup here. If I'm making a lot of things that require snow, then yeah. Two away for now, I guess. That's some extras. Um, how about it? I also just mm, nah. Because 
because these only stack up to 16. So let us instead. Okay, that is actually working as a connection between the two. So we're going to need some cable, which I have on me. Awesome. Let's put the snowballs away. Here's a drawer. Regular one will work. Thank you. What I'm going to do is break that guy, get him back, and we're going to go. See. You're fine. You're not. Cable. The cable there, so it connects through like that. We're actually going to break this for now. I'm going to put this drawer right here. And we're going to get ourselves 32 stacks of snowballs. And I'm going to put the external storage back. And we're going to tell this thing that... Okay, that's weird. Um, priority 10. <coughs> mm, excuse me. That was external storage was showing. Now it's actually showing. Oh, it's overfilled. Okay, sure. Works for me, but snowball issues taken care of finally. Uh, let's see. And then I need a way to make uh, blaze powder. I have 193 of, but I'm going to use a ton of it to make a Herculean storage. Which holds a decent amount, 128 million RF. That's actually not bad for a single block. Not blaze powder. There we go. Way to do this without using blaze rods up. Blue transposer, essence of knowledge, and sulfur. I guess we'll have to work. We're gonna go processing pattern. There we go. Sulfur. Because I've got, what, 3,200 of that? Blaze powder. Great pattern. I'll leave more dictionary on. I don't think I have more than one type of sulfur anyway. So, food transposer for experience. You can go in there. So now, if I decide I want a flux storage, 36 of these basic ones. I should to craft 23 of those. To craft 52. So it's going to take a while. I need to craft 1900 flux, though. That would be a little bit painful. But I have all the snowballs I need. Go ahead and start that. Come over here. And this is just dropping redstone into lava. And then this guy is whitelisted to only pick up flux. So, and then he's just outputting into an interface. Works good. And as long as uh, this flux doesn't bounce like six blocks away, it'll be fine. Actually, though, um, here we go get some glass. Uh, thicken glass. Just get some of this uh, bordered. Now you just go you, 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 and you. Can you pick up two blocks? You can. You clever little bastard. Yep, and every second it pushes what it has stored up inside out. So. But yeah, we've got a lot of redstone to burn. So we're going to be doing the popcorn jig for a while here. And I don't really want to start working on hooking this stuff up until I get my, my Herculean. Let's come over here. Let's get our manager. Basic, basic flux storage. Oh, and I have to craft a bunch of eyes of Ender, too. Right. That's why it needs the cryothium. Um, 
Yeah, stored a thousand redstone. Oof. He doesn't accept item. Yeah. Don't worry. It will eventually. Crafting 36 of these. I haven't even made one yet. Good lord. And why is it requesting... No, don't request fertilizer. You're good. You're fine. I think it's this thing up here. That's Carpenter. This guy, yeah, this is what wants fertilizer, and it's just constantly asking for more for whatever damn reason. This thing's good. So. As soon as I get up to 512 of a majority of my pedals, like over half, this thing will stop. So. It just takes quite a while to get there. So every once in a while I'll do this, and it... Just to kind of speed things up a bit whenever I'm waiting for things to happen. Yeah, so I just burned through 10 grass blocks that way. Uh, protein soup, we're good on for now. I need to hook up a way to make make nether meat. But that's neither here nor there. So, one thing I can do... Start putting some flux plugs down. Oh, you ran out of fuel again, didn't you? Yep. Put like two stacks of charcoal on a little while ago. Okay. Can we have that back, please? Here. Take it. Get to busy. Give me apples, you stupid rail cart. Alright, see, so these things are currently not running. And let's see, a plug has aspects for me. Okay, so. You are going to be a power network. Awesome. Wow. Um, yeah. And power network. Transfer limit 256,000. Yeah, I only need the one, I guess, on this. So. And then if I come over here and be like, hey, um, I did disconnect this one's fuel. Just because I was burning through gasoline too quick here. 157 buckets of diesel. 133 buckets of gas. You are white, orange, white, which is this one here. I finally got it all isolated. I still have no idea how the tanks switched. You know, they did. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and... A bucket so I can see what you're doing. You are filling up. Oops. Did not mean to just grab a bucket of diesel out or gasoline out of you. Finger twitches. They're horrible. All right. So we're just going to pop that and pop this now. I should just be able to go... Network, power, power, and power, right? And no, you will not push to that block for whatever damn reason. All right, how about we instead put, like, say, you there, right? Actually, let's just put you, like, here. And now we'll just put this connector back. On that. We're seeing that thing. Cool. And... We'll put the relay here. Connector on top. And now we'll just run some wiring like before. And you're not doing anything because you don't have anywhere for the power to go. So. so that is a thing. But, oh well. 
This guy is still running like a champ. So now if I grab a flux point for removing energy from the network. And I can put you here and tell you, hey, uh, power network, please. And now it's using a thousand RF tick. Still running smooth. These guys should be actually generating power now. Let's drain that last one right now. There we go. So this one's not being touched yet. It does have a priority system somehow. Hmm. That works. And we'll give this guy a point as well. I'm going to tell you power. There we go. I think it's running like that because it's just not getting the oil. But it could be wrong. I've been before. Most likely I'm wrong. All right. And I guess for now... Actually, let's go ahead and come down here. Let me get rid of this laser. I'm going to put a point in instead and tell you power now. And it's saying output air. And they're out of juice now. What in the world just happened there? Do you not like having to, do you not like hooking to conduits? Is that what your problem is here? Points are for removing energy from the flux network. Yeah. Hmm. That is quite vaguely annoying, actually. You're not doing anything now. Hmm. There. It may have just decided to not work because of other reasons, though. I'll put like that and that away, I guess, for now. Still haven't gotten rid of the thermionic fabricator. Whoops, my bad. Alright, so instead, let's pop you off. Put the conduits back for now. Flux point this for power. And it may just because I don't have the rest of my generators hooked up quite yet. It being difficult. So you are for removing... For adding, you're adding, okay. There we go. Now are you guys working? Ooh. Alright. Uh no, you're not. Do you just not like Ender I or extra utility stuff? As well? What in the world? Oh, well, in the meantime, I'm just going to put this guy here. And he is going to be all sides sending energy. There he goes. Now it's got power. It's just damn annoying is what that is. Hmm. Are you doing? Yeah, you're pretty tapped, aren't you? Oh, well, these should speed back up soon. And, and we'll just go from there, I guess. Woo. All right. So you are currently half and about, it looks like.
go check on our crafting. Oh yeah, you're 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 hurting now. You even yeah, you're not even cooking anything, so you're just you're sitting idle. All right. Now this guy here should be. Okay, I guess not. Well, no. I'm not seeing any levers come in, though. That's probably because my system is so far drained. I mean, I was running off that backup energy cell, and it's... It's pretty much gone. These things are... Pretty much gone as well, so we're gonna... They take like that. Buckets away. We could jumpstart the system a bit. There. Now, actually, because highly knowing when it runs out, we're going to give him a speed upgrade on this conduit as well. On, let's say, this one here. You know that? You can pull eight at a time out now. Alright, these guys are coming back into life now. There it goes. Yep. Any second now, this one should come back. There it goes. And then we're looking at this last guy. There he goes. All right. And there's this setup here, which I drink I need something about. Come on, let me up. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're doing good again. All right, so flux, right? I only ended up with two of these things. Really now? Before the system crashed? Need to craft another 1,500. But yeah, uses for these is to make the Herculeans. Hercules. All right. 46 buckets of resident ender. Need to craft 188 ender pearls. Wow. Yes, the machine doesn't accept item because... The auto dropper is freaking backlogged right now. Uh, new moon? Sure, let's uh. Lunar new. Yeah, this guy's going strong. Uh, how are you doing on. Okay, you used up one flint and steel so far. You guys are doing your thing. Grabbing out eggs like a boss. 512. Oh no. I thought. 731. Yeah. Storage make one of those, I guess. I'll show you under there. And now. Yeah, I'll just wait. Only a couple hundred items on the disc. It's not a huge issue. All right, um, well, we're sitting here, go ahead and charge that thing up. You guys are pretty much just not doing anything right now, are you? Good. You are out of power. Why are you out of power?
you have like a wireless relay right here. That should be giving you all the power you want. Alright, uh, plugs do what now? Want points, right? Yeah. Really should, like... I don't have any good... I'm already occupying three sides of this room. Well, five sides. So... All right. Here's the crafter. There's the exporter for pushing essence and knowledge into it. And the that down there is to get the back into the network. So let's go say great. Go item conduit or just conduits in general. Make some. Oh god. Okay, it's done. Alright. It had me conduit a binder, okay. I'm like, oh no, it's gonna make an interpol for that, and it's gonna be at the end of everything. Alright, and you're still doing your thing. Awesome. Alright, so it was here. This thing, right? So if I pop you off, and I tell you we're going to put an item conduit here, and that right there. Right? And then let's see. And we're going to put power conduit running out here. With a point on you. I'm saying air, but are you filling up yet? No, you're not. Okay. So in that case, we're just gonna go get a power cell. Drop you here. All sides output. Now you have power. Okay. So now we're gonna be like uh, importer. On that. Do I have my RS conduit on me? I do not. I have a bunch of item conduit in there. Alright. And we're just going to put you there. So that can flow through. And you're backstepping. Okay. Not ideal, but all right, whatever. Always active. And for some reason, it got stuck. All right, so you can come with me. Oh, thank you. That was wonderful. There. That works around that little issue. You should be outputting towards the bottom, but you're not. So actually, that's because you're not. You need to be on insert mode. Now we did? Yeah, now we're good. Okay. And yeah, let's go check on this stuff. How are we doing? Okay, we're up to 1100 flux stored into the system. 19 redstone stored. Which, this 18 here matches up with the cryothium dust recipe I need. Oh yeah, 17, yeah. I need one redstone per two cryothium. All right. So I have 600 left to go through that thing. I wonder what will happen if that in there too. Grab this guy out and tell him, hey, um, go nuts. <laughs> okay. 
let's uh hmm you're now empty oh that was cool that was quick too i mean it just dumped it all and this guy picked it up pretty quick however uh let's go ahead and hear that now Oh, that's probably the speed issue there. Okay, so let's just go for, like, say... I do have a stack upgrade. Cool. Put a stack upgrade here. There we go. That'll get back in the system quicker. Awesome. Now, how's my obsidian looking? 500. All right. That way I'll have like 6,000 on hand, uh, just 2,000. Alright, so I think the main thing I'm working on right now is probably going to be Eyes of Ender. Right? Yeah, I've got 12 buckets of Resident Ender left. Let's go see what the holdup of that is. You have no power either. Oh, aren't you just a lovely son of a... This guy's almost out of power too from melting down thinkers. All right. Hmm. Can I make... Capacitor rank. One of. Oh yeah, the creative one would be great. I need four base capacitors. Alright, and then one of you. So if you go here, and now I just put a plug is point. Point's one one. You're saying no. Yeah, you're saying no chance in hell. Why? Why why do you do this? Okay, well. Are you getting power? Yeah. Kinda sorta. Of. I don't like the kinda of sorta. Of. How about you are only input? There you go. Now you're getting power. Now you're filling up. All right. Slowly, mind you. Let's get outside. And be. Here and here. Now you're now you got power. Cool. Yeah, see that's the other reason I need to I'm thinking about redoing my base or just starting a new one. There we go. And you are reinforced with no augments. Alright, can I just get a a signalum kit? Like that. That would be perfect. Go ahead and upgrade you a little bit more. Kind of speed you up a bit. You're busy backfilling that up. Now we're making blaze powder. Or not blaze. Yeah, blaze powder. No shit. Are you saying you're seriously done? Um, Yeah, with three of these, I killed the power, though. But reset it all again. Oh. Good news is it should dump all the items it made back into the network. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Actually, let's check on our charcoal situation down here. Should I be doing that? 
I would be concentrating on one of these for right now. Probably on one of these for right now. Yeah, how you looking? 350-ish? Yeah, no. Oh, this thing finally ate a puzzle water. Got more mulch, got more mycelium. It pretty much ran out of water as soon as it ran out of seeds, too. Go figure. All right. Hmm. I'm wondering if that's not due to the flux plug. Like if I put a uh, an HP capacitor there instead, and then the flux plug, it would work better. And you're saying you're all backfilled now. All right. One thing I should probably do as well is I have this guy here. Grab a power cell. For now, actually, let's just do that. Now, you are set to all sides accepting energy, right? And you're dead, yeah. What happens if I get, like, a hammer out? That one side there is actually outputting energy. All right, cool. Uh, points, remove power from the network. You should be good enough for now. I'll see you here. You're full of power. Your power's not even flickering. Are my gasoline generator's running yet. Quite possible, but... Turn off the stutter bug over here. Yeah, they'll bunch of power down. They've got an invisible tank in them is what it is, I think. Alright, yeah, you're done. You're bouncing between one and a half to three. You're effectively done as well. Are you going to jump off to be with your friends? How about now? There. The other two bailed out of here, so why not you two? Alright, um, let's get that in there. Just can put those away. So, try this again. I just want a gargantuan, okay? Is that too much to ask? Apparently. 33 more. Now, yeah, two craft. Oh, don't tell me it lost all of that. I think it did. Oh, whenever it dies, it scraps materials. Oh, that's not, not nice at all. Yeah, no, I've burned through so much obsidian. I had 2,000. I'm at one. Oh. Oh, well, now it shouldn't run out of power, though. Hopefully. One thing I kind of miss from Applied Energistics is the timer at the bottom. Kind of nice. Like, how long is this going to take? Alright, so it's processing double compressed cobblestone in the, the furnace right now, too, to make more. Alright. Because I did teach it... Did I teach it how to... I did. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's kind of a saving grace. Alright. Processing six. 
All right, so that's done. Um, us 32 stacks of snowballs. snowballs is it gotta do gotta do good basically 20 more snowballs worth okay that's not terrible but the eyes of ender are gonna take quite a while i think actually it's just waiting on uh lace powder for that Maybe I should. I'm going to be using Flux Networks. Maybe I should. Yeah, see. My drawer bank is. Yeah, I need a. I need a new home. Number's not going up at all, is it? Okay, so it's got all the but it's going to dump into there, so it's uh You're empty now. Here we go. You're empty. You're empty and you are too. Okay. So the flux is at least done. I could probably speed up the blaze powder as well, but I don't want to kill power to the system. All right, store 17, crafting two of them now. All right, well, let's, uh, here we go. Awesome. Yeah, this thing's got three augments in it. Burns a 200 R up a tick whenever it's running full out. Yeah, 25 mil buckets per go. So I need 10 shards per ender, ender pearl. Right, yeah. I need four ender pearls per bucket. I need 40 of these shards per go. Oops. So uh, let's just do this number up. Randomly going around speeding things up because I just thought of something. Uh,. Yeah, yeah, you're doing your thing. That's fine. Your glowstone. Oh, where is my mechanical crafter for shards? Is that... Is that happening inside the system? It is. Like, what if I... Tell, like, three stacks. Just get busy real quick. There it goes. Yeah, I've completely wiped out my resonant ender in there. Crafting 142 eyes of ender. Actually, yeah, our ender pearls are the slow spot right now, aren't they? Oh, we're down to 24 basic flux storages. 23 now. Sweet. So that's actually working pretty decent ish, you know. Yeah, processing the bucket for the Eye of Ender. Let's speed up our transposer a bit here and see what it does. Yeah, it kills the power. All right. Schedule 22, though. That's not bad. Schedule 20. Yep, 
I should have the saying keep a bunch of things like Eye of Ender or Ender Pearls at least in stock. Yeah, speed this up a bit more. All right, what are we at for? We're at 20 basic flux storages, right? So, flux, we have 16 basics. So I should be able to make two Herculeans, right? No, it's like, uh. -uh. All right, how about we just go flux? Didn't grab any of these things out. Come on. One more and we're halfway there, baby. Come on. But it doesn't... Hmm. There's some sort of NBT or whatnot stacked onto these. Where they don't work well with crafting recipes. Flux blocks. Flux core. Why couldn't the block just be like nine flux? So if I pour lava onto an ender pearl, I get an eye of ender. Same with that. And fluid transposer fill. You do it that way. I could do eyes of ender without uh, without blaze powder. Let's speed this up a bit here, I guess. I mean, it's not doing great by any stretch of the imagination. There. Blaze powder is done, though. Oh, damn time. Processing 82, crafting those. Scheduled 11 buckets of resonant ender. Yeah. This is great, isn't it? So I had all these resources. And not exactly off or not, but it didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. Okay, this thing is full of power now. Okay, let's, uh, all right, configure this, Figure that off. None. All right. Because I want to just go through here. We're going to grab this out. Do this. And we're going to go like that. That, that, and that. And right to here. And that'll get rid of that laser anyway. Now the flux... Points not wanting to work with Indrio Conduit is a little bit annoying, but oh well, what are you gonna do though, right? Ah, coal production is so damn slow. You're done. You're just doing your thing still, so let's crank it up another notch on you. We're right here. Uh, 14 left. We're just gonna do like this, like that. There's half of them right there. What do I got going on here now? None? All right. Jesus. This is like so damn so. Still crafting 82 eyes of ender for this stuff, though. How's my obsidian doing? Back up to 143 already. That helps.
Yeah, I need to set up like Interpol crafting, auto crafting, or not so much auto crafting, but keeping stuff in stock might be a good idea. Especially given how slow this can be right here. Crafting upgrade. That's it, huh? All right. Uh, speed. Just grab a couple of you. What happens if I give you some speed upgrades? Much better. All right. Should make things a little bit faster, hopefully. I mean, hopefully, be nice. Um, let's see. Are you at still 14? Still 82. Is it trying to stockpile like just a bunch of Eyes of Ender at once? Is that what's going on? Or Resident Ender? Fuck it, I don't know. So what is, is this making buckets anyway? Your water, right? Resident Ender buckets go into here. All right. So, damn. Takes forever. Well, let's see. Everything seems to be still working decently, which is, it's always a good sign. How are you doing here? Yeah, you're, you're good. Yeah, that capacitor's only job in life right now is pretty much just powering two machines, so. Offhand, I think it'd be doing pretty decent. But man, if it deleted all the resources I had because the power died, whew, that's a hell of a blow is what that is. That was a lot of resources. How's my redstone looking? Yeah, it's eaten like whoop, half my redstone. Back in production now, but holy crap. So we're now scheduled for two Resident Ender buckets. Stored 72 Enderpoles are stored up. It's holding up. It's waiting until this is done before it makes any more of those. Oh, that sucks. So if I need two buckets plus. I need what? 40 shards. So, oh man, I'm like, like 100 something shards left to cook up here. That's the thing. It kind of sucks too. No ender lilies. If there were, I would have them in a cloche. Actually, no, I probably need endstone form too. And there really isn't a recipe for endstone. Which that sucks too. How are we doing? 14. Uh, ender pearls are done, it says. Cool. So now it's just doing ender shards just to do ender shards. Oh, I'm missing the cryothium because those two snowballs I had glitched with earlier, where it basically it froze the uh, froze everything up. It may be still waiting on that. All right. So what's it waiting for on flux blocks now? Crafting flux cores. Uh, let's see, opinion core. Yeah, no. Where's my flux core at? There. Obsidian flux eye of ender. Since it's still processing 82 sulfur. I didn't have enough sulfur. 
Seriously, though? I got freaking 2,800. Why is it? All right, cancel this job out. Thank you. All right, flux. Um, 14, right? Available 82. 82 to craft 82 to craft 8. Right? It... Something happened where it didn't register the sulfur or something. But it never sent the sulfur here. Or it thought it did, but because the machine didn't have power, it didn't. Re I don't know. That's weird. Let's see. Let's make sure that my. Okay, the controller's still. Still doing good. All right. So that's what it got hung up on. Was it. it was waiting for sulfur to get done that wasn't even in the machine. Weird. All right, cool. So done. And yeah, it says processing 41 sulfur now. The speeding it up messed stuff up. Oh no, damn it. I know exactly what it is. It's supposed to be two sulfur equal to blaze powder, not one. Let's just put you here. Tell it two. One sulfur, one blaze powder. You sulfur, one blaze powder. All right, so. And let's just get me like a stack of sulfur. All right. So you can go in there. And this is just me fixing being an idiot earlier. So that's what happened. It only sent half the necessary sulfur, but it thought it sent enough because that's what I told it it needed to do. Yeah, now we're down to crafting four of these things. Alright, so give me more sulfur. And you can go into there for now. I want to speed you up some more. Is that going to be enough to finish this job off? Uh, processing five. It should be eventually. All right. Toss you in there. And we'll just... Ah, oh, okay. See if I'm done being an idiot now. Job's done. Finally. Oh, good lord. Herculean flux storage. Gargantuan. Ah, oh, okay. Now. Just for kicks, I guess I can toss this guy here. And we're just going to pull... Him out, right? Please set a network power local buffer 128 million, network buffer 128 million. Uh, let's go ahead and make this a priority one, I guess. No, let's leave it a priority zero. You're running, you're not. You are having issues. Right. Um, put you down there. I imagine you'll work okay with cells, right? All right, you are going to be bottom is input, top will be output, right? So now if I 
turn you on. You're filling up rather nicely. And point is what I want, right? Oh no, point is to pull energy from it. Flux plug, on the other hand, sixteen thousand a tick. Plug, plug. All right, so looking at this guy now, you're holding several million. All right, welcome, Walker. Five percent. Beat. And let's see if I just ramp up production here a bit. Awesome. So we're actually generating power faster right now than we can use it, which is always, always good. Wireless charging disabled. How do I enable wireless charging? Okay. Hand right hand true. Player inventory true. Player hotbar excludes right hand true. Network connections. Well, it looks like wireless charging is activated now. That's fully charged. That is too. This is my, my drill is. Saber. I haven't used a saber for a little bit though. All right, awesome. Are the charging enabled? All right, network connections, network statistics. Four plugs at three points, one storage, one controller. Input, 8200 RF a tick. Output, 4.7. Storage change, 3.5. Transfer, 4.5. Network buffer, 17.6 million. That's awesome. I like it. Okay, let's go. Uh, actually, I need some crafters, I think. I am out of recipes. And speed. Make a bunch of them. Move my anvil. And we're just gonna be like, hey, uh, have some crafters here. Awesome. So now I have 36 more recipes to add in. My network is now taking 1,149 RF a tick. Oof. Damn. We're making obsidian, which is awesome. Black quartz, probably don't need to worry about that quite yet. Wouldn't be a horrible idea to, to teach it how to make that, though. Shards, okay. Silicon, doing all right. Okay, we're fully stocked there. 1100 chaos shards, which is cool. All right, awesome. So how's our drop of evil doing? 16.8 buckets. So, yeah, 16.75. So, I need another 3.25 buckets in here, which translates into 13 drops to fill up the tank. I can I can over with that. So, now energy cells apparently work with flux points. What I was going to do here was make Energy cell pattern. Now, I can't just make a signalum. Screw it, can I? No. Okay. So, energy cell frame. Energy cell. And then conductance coil. Most likely I'm going to need. Uh, now we're just going to clink, 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 like that. So then if I tell this thing, hey, uh, I want 
one of these. I need to teach you how to make lead gears. All right, well, not the end of the world. All right, let's try again. Uh, let's just, uh, let's go make three, I guess. Do three. Now let's go kit. Two of those. Actually, let's. That. Oh yeah, I need to. Well, I should be able to just do this. All right, and start. Two conversion kits. Signalum. What does it take to make a resonant? I think pretty much all stuff I have, except for I need, I need liquid and deerium. It looks like I have it. Let's do that, and let's go, say, three of you. you need to craft two resonant inter buckets. Okay, yeah, we're going to hold off on that for now. And it charged up the, wire, the cell. I'm used to think stacking, so. But I can use these things as buffers instead of the uh, actual energy uh, yeah, power cells here. Yeah, this guy. Oh, he is transferring power. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab a conversion kit. So, bottom's going to be input, top will be output, uh, plug, right? Yeah. Plug, there we go, and convert it. Thank you. Awesome. Nothing else, it'll also give us an extra 32 million, possibly, as a buffer. Well, it's 64 total between the two of them. This guy is running just perfectly now. Good to see. Gasoline, we're doing decent on. Diesel, we're actually going downhill on, though. Running two of these guys. I imagine this would run one generator, but not two. But, hey, it works. And the lubricant, I might as well just dump that into a liquid trash can for now. Let's see. Lubricant... Uses is pretty much just you know loaded into stuff, and there's an automatic lubricator which uses stuff to speed up machines. Uh, what did what machines was it though? Like the excavator, I know was one. Uh, let's see, oil processing lubricant, pump jacks, excavators, and crushers can all be lubricated. So I can actually. Put some lube in the pump jack. And crusher. Is there anything I wanted for the crusher? Don't think so, off the top of my head. If I can get my hands on some coal. Is there a way to make coal ore? Coal ore? Just from the orchid. Okay. Uh, that's a shame. Especially since orchids don't exist. Or at least no recipe for them. Do they even exist in the pack or what? I imagine they do, but... Type search. Okay, I'm still stuck in the alpha mancy. There we go. Uh, lexicon index. Orchid. Use mana to generate ores nearby stone blocks. Or generates random. Seem to be biased towards more common ores rather than rare. Oh, hey, here we go. So I need Rune of Greed, Rune of Pride, uh, and a bunch of petals, Pixie Dust, and Redstone Root, but uh, apparently it is the thing to make. Well, that's magical. We would call it a sieve. Hmm. Yeah, I, I could do that. It would take a lot of mana, but oh well. I mean... 
necessarily the end of the world. Uh, Fluid Grid says we have nine buckets of resident ender. Sweet. Itch in. All right, now <laughs> to make one last check here. Oh my god, I did get one. Finally. Hallelujah. You saw a cloche in here too, right? Oh, look at you, you glorious bastard. Oh, freaking hell, man. Enderly seed. Took forever to get. All right, though. You're finally done doing the uh, aluminum I told you about earlier, huh? Oh, that's amazing. Not that. This. Go ahead and have ourselves a stack of iron. We'll put you in this placer. Turn you into aluminum eventually. Takes a while, but. It does help if I speed things up a bit. Wow, my episodes just keep getting longer and longer. But we figure out. You know, what not to do with auto crafting systems this episode. Got ourselves a flex network set up. And network connections. Chunk loaded and unloaded. Cool. Network statistics. We're at 89 million backlogged. Which is just pretty damn awesome when you get down to it. I mean, this guy's Guys, filling up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, I may start working on a new base a little distance away. Or at least start building like a framework and whatnot for it. And uh, hopefully I can set it up so it'll be a little little uh, lighter on the lag. What do we have for chunk loaders anyway? Um, we have a chunk loading ward, which unfortunately requires a villager. Uh, flux sponge. Creative only. Right click to drain all flux from a 9 by 9 chunk area. Okay. Chunk loader from Steve's carts. That's kind of about it, really, when you get down to it. Um, well, that's a shame now, isn't it? Because we don't have uh, my team. All right, yep. I have a team, but I can't claim chunks. I can't load them or anything like that. Hmm. Yeah, I have uh, no way to load chunks, actually. 141 grains of infinity, though. So that machine's definitely working, because I started off with, like, 22. And... So this guy's a thing. Go ahead and take the power cell off of you. And instead... I'm going to throw energy cell. The signal upgrade on you. I'm going to tell you to output to the back. Right. And you're going to get a point. Do I have any pre-configured points? I do. Okay. Here we go. You're filling up now, which is awesome. Probably going to stress my system a little bit, but I'm not actually crafting right now, so... Shouldn't be much of an issue. That and this guy here holds more than that energy Zelda, so it won't stress my system at all. But awesome. Probably set up something. Something, something, something. Um, a way to turn these guys on and off. That's a. Uh, a power monitor? They are a thing. Okay. It does require an industrial machine chassis, which I can make, though, an induction smelter. Requires this guy, which is not a problem. Alright. Electrical steel. Okay, so I can make power monitors. That's kind of cool, actually. And then I can make it a graphical one if I put black wool rose right around it. There is no way to make, like, spawn sheep, though, are there? That's regular soul vial. Yeah, no. Damn. But, oh well.
Dude, seriously, don't die to the tree farm. Fuck, they're stupid. But, thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series, and until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.